What's going on guys, Albanian Tank here. In today's video, we are finally doing an unboxing of my new gaming PC, which is the exclusive 4090 H7 Elite PC from, of course, it's EXT. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, let's get into it. a plastic bag with cables not sure what kind of cables uh, later on oh there it is yep here is a picture view of everything that comes in a box and here is a recorded video showing everything that comes in a box in case you're for some reason too lazy to pause the video on that screenshot there but yeah as you see there is a lot and I mean a lot that comes with this PC um, as it should as it should be because this PC is very expensive <laughs> Um, honestly cost an arm and a leg. I think I got the most expensive bill they have on their website, actually. Um, like I said before, it has a 4090. Um, so you already know this bad boy's pricey. And speaking of a 4090, look at that bad. Ooh! Ooh! A sneak peek for you guys. Uh-huh. And here is me showing you everything that comes in the box again, but a little more, I guess, in-depth view. Um, we got the power cable, that, no clue what it is. That, zip ties? Yeah, zip ties. Let's see what we got next. Uh, a modular thing for the power supply, I think. Uh, some manuals. More manuals, what is that for? Yeah, for the motherboard. Let's see what we got next. More manuals for... What was that? I don't know. Here you got... GPU cables, more modular power cables for the supply, for the power supply, excuse me. Um, more of those, I guess. As you can tell, this is why I bought a freaking pre-built because I know nothing about PCs, but for all my nerds out there, obviously you can tell what these things are. I'm pretty sure that's an antenna for the Wi-Fi. I got that right. I um, got some more cables. That is a little, what? It's a little knob. Yeah, for SSD, yes. I remember. A little knob for the SSD. More manuals. More manuals. Like they gave you every manual for everything they put in here. Jeez. A little gift card. E-gift. A little giveaway. Oh. There's the quick start guide again. All right, here we go. Everything's connected, as you can see. Hopefully, <laughs> that had a sticker on it that said, "Can you pass me the sticker?" Oh, right there. That said, uh, connect all cables before turning on. I checked; no cables need to be connected. Um, at least I don't think so. Uh, but enough talking. Here we go. Flip on the switch. I can see it's kind of dark. Ooh, ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Oh. oh, let me just. Yeah. All right. Flip it maybe the other way. Maybe you gotta hold it out. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Holy fing mother. Oh, camera leak. Oh, oh my oh god. Oh my god, it does. Oh my god. Damn, don't move. Moving fast. Holy crap. Yo. Oh, I'm so glad that lights up. Holy, Holy, Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. This is a spaceship. Look how fast the fans are moving. Oh my god. 
Oh, they threw a lot of air. All right, back to you, Lewis. Yeah, back to Lewis indeed. Um, before I end off the video, guys, I just want to show you a spec sheet of everything that it comes with. The PC, of course. Of, uh, I'm going to scroll down down here and turn on the webcam. There you guys have it. You can pause the video, obviously. Let me scroll down a little further and go back up top. E specs Intel Cry 7 12700KF. The processor, of course, for the GPU GeForce RTX 4090. Hottest on the market, 3200 uh, megahertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM, two sticks, 16 gigabytes each. Honestly, I just expected um, DDR5 at this price point, right? Well, obviously it's DDR4. Um, if I wanted to upgrade DDR5, I probably would have to upgrade the motherboard, which sucks, but whatever. And one SSD, one terabyte, um, which I think, again, I expected two at this price point, but you know what? I expected two at this price point, but it is what it is. That's why I got a second one. It is a uh, show you actually. one terabyte WD Black um, 3200 read and write, I guess. It's a fast uh, SSD. That's all I know. Um, but yeah, as a conclusion for the PC itself, as you can see, it says 3200. Thank God I did not buy it at 3200. I actually bought it at 2700. Um, boy, I tell you, as soon as I got that email that uh, went back in stock, ran upstairs, placed my order. Or like I said, 2700 which is crazy to think about it because there's probably a handful of people that bought it for 31 32 3000 which 2700 to 32 that's a $500 difference. Like, that's absurd, but I guess that's how they make business, right? Um, but for this price point, exhaust fan, I expected RGB. Top fans for the AIO, expected RGB. Even the box over there in my closet, it shows these uh, fans up here, three fans actually. Um, they're all RGB, right? GPU is green in a white case. Doesn't really look the best. Really wish they like told me that they could, um, what it was gonna look like, you know? Obviously the Founders Edition, it's silver, sold out for sure. Um, yeah. To my knowledge, I don't think they make wide GPUs, uh, 4090s, I mean. Um, but yeah, you know, wish I had more RGB. The RAM on the motherboard is not controllable. You can't change the colors unless I think you have to like download a third party application to control it. Not sure. Um, the the GPU itself, there's a button underneath it that you just press and it turns off the GPU. You can only really change the colors how you want it. But uh, yeah, there you guys have it. If you guys want another video showcasing some FPS on Warzone or multiplayer on MW2, uh, let me know if this video drops um, 100 likes. I'll drop it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, and comment, and see you in the next one.